Hey guys, it's Oslo. How are we all doing today? I'm back with another video quicker than I fucking thought because, boy, does, does, do things fly fast on the dark side of the internet, boys. I tell you what. Quick thing, remember how last video there was the mod I didn't know the name of? Got his name because I did a little thing called research, you know, that thing you're supposed to do before making videos, but, hey, he's kind of going with guns blazing. Pa -pa -pa -pa. It's uh, DL, Dia Chacha? Dia Chacha? Yeah, we'll go with Dia Chacha. He started up, he did the, uh, the, the Discord. He set it up as like a gay gay ops honeypot where he was trying to trick the detractors and get, I don't know what the fuck his end game was, but uh, he had his linked, his Discord account linked with his Twitch. So his Discord name was different, but you could just easily figure out that it was his Twitch. So his whole, his whole plan was like paper thin. You could see through it like a really slutty chick's wet t-shirt. Then he took screenshots from the Discord server and ran them back to fill like a little bitch boy tattletale. And that's how the shit show started. So now we're all caught a day up to date where you can find out what's happening with our boy, Saru. Oh, Neggy Daddy. I thought we were going to leave the dark side, but nope, you went right to Tevin and asked for an interview. And then when he was like, ignored you because he doesn't give a shit, you threw a bitch fit on Twitter. Then he ran into Mighty D's Discord and threatened to sue him. What are you going to sue him for, you fucking idiot? You dummy. And this guy threw this massive, grand-level bitch fit on his birthday. His 26th birthday. Now, I've had some pretty, like, yeah, birthdays. But, oh my god, I have not had to have a crying fit on Twitter on my birthday. I didn't get laughed out of a Discord and ignored by a guy who couldn't give less of a shit. Come on, Saru. Focus up for Negi's sake. And stop white knighting for Phil. You said you were done. Be done. Leave the dark side. Fucking bounce like you said you were. If not, we're all gonna realize that you're a cuck. Oh, wait. We know you're a cuck. Oh, we saw your dating profile because the Sherlock homies on Kiwi Farms. I'm not gonna show it in the video. There's some meme pictures, though, I made. But uh, the, links, the links will be in the description. Smart people know how to get there. So now comes the pre-stream after, the day after the drama. Obviously, Mr. Burnell, he has to answer for what's going on. He's got to let, he's got to keep the pay piggies in the loop. The kid's got to know what's up. And of course, someone on Kiwi Farms, Flat Soda, has like the court, the court typist transcript of the stream, which means I get to go back to autistically reading. Yay! We had a, we had a shifting in the mod team yesterday. I hate to say it. But we had a couple of mods who basically were not listening to directions. <sighs> um, for various reasons. And, you know, for whatever reasons. You know? Y you know? Some people do whatever they want to do. <sighs> Even after they promise they won't. Um, and I had to make a change because of it. There was no way I could leave people in power who were regularly, uh, abusing said power, d dude. <sighs> okay. So we had two different mods on each end of the spectrum who were removed by my mod team yesterday. One, a lot of people were saying was too far strict and causing problems in the chat with his behavior and over modding. The other one was quite frankly, causing problems with under modding and being too soft and unbanning a bunch of people. And so because we had people on both ends of the spectrum, I wonder if he's talking about that tism spectrum. <laughs> DSP's audience is autistic. It's funny. Coming from the jackass who's autistically reading this shit and making a video about it. God damn it. <laughs> we had uh, a change yesterday. Okay, so it's that simple. <laughs> We're not going to be uh, addressing this at any kind of length, but it at least needs to be very briefly addressed because obviously some of it, you know, happened very publicly in the stream chat yesterday and some people noticed that they weren't around anymore and that's the deal, all right? It's just that simple. Um, and there's no drama here. It's all over with. You're not going to be hearing me mention it anymore. Uh, that's that. I'll be working with my mod team behind the scenes to figure out the process moving forward. Whatever that means, you know? Them being more available to help mod, or whatever it means to look for new mods, or whatever. But, that is all on us. Not on you! 
So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine on the streams moving forward. Sounds good? That's that. Put that behind us, okay? Uh... So that's it. We're not talking about it anymore. We're moving on. We're hitting the trail. We're keep moving forward as good old Walter Disney said. Who is we had a couple mods who sadly just were not in line with what we wanted for mod ship. I thought we were done talking about it, dude. Come on. We were done. We were moving the dusty trail. Walt Disney shit. Come on, Phil. And th again, oh, they weren't cr they weren't in line. Piggy Mafia. It's true, folks. And, of course, then when they get demoted, they lose their minds. Um, as usual. I mean, I hate to say this, but it seems to me like, sadly, people are fair weather, as they say, fair weather supporters, fair weather friends. Listen to this fucking crusty-ass boomer. Fair weather friends, dude. No, that just means people got sick of your shit and bounced, just like Rihanna. Leanna, not Rihanna. Rihanna's still around. She, she, she can stand her in my umbrella, Ella. A. But that's how you lost Leanna, Rambo, Howard, eh, any meaningful connections you had with any other people. That's all the people we really know other than your pay piggies. And a lot of them got fucking burnt on you too. Kig Tut, Emerald Seven, Swaggins, Vidar. No, Vidar's still around. Brightside Viking, that's the guy who fucking also bust. War Dog Leader. I can go on and on, Phil. It's not fair weather friends when you burn them the fuck out by being a huge jackass. It's just being a jackass. There's a reason why the Pignosis is a hot meme right now, dude. It's because your fans and pay piggies are waking up from your charlatan grifter bullshit act, and they're moving the fuck on, or supporting people that actually deserve it. They're getting sick of your shit, because you've been pulling a lot of bullshit lately. Your wedding, you're, you're begging for money again, hardcore, after your mommy bailed you out. Multiple times about it, that they were being too abusive, they were clearing the chat too much, they were, they were banning and kicking people way too much. They were also kind of going out of their way to do things that were kind of over the top, referencing things that were offensive to some people. You boys think he's talking about naggy and all the naggy shit and all the furry shit and all the scat, all the degeneracy that goes on in DSP's chat. You think he's addressing all of that in one fail swoop? Moral of the story, DSP's chat is a hive of scum and villainy. Don't just... just Observe it like you're at the zoo. It's like that episode of the Twilight Zone where the people are the zoo animals for the aliens. Do it, treat it like that, and you'll be golden. And I had words with this mod multiple times about this. They didn't listen. All right, that definitely nails it down. This is definitely some neggy shit. Oh boy. And it got to the point where finally it came out where this person was also doing stuff behind the scenes that was against, you know, what we want on our streams. I'm like, well, that's it. Cutting the cord. Bye. It's your own fault. You have no one to blame but yourself. You knew the shit was going on, right? <laughs> then on the same, the same note, we had a mod who was the complete opposite, com constantly unbanning people. And that's our boy King of Gelf HD behind the scenes without permission. You know, basically someone who's one of these sympathetic ears. They listen to every sob story and just fucking believe it instead of actually asking other people what happened here. Why did this person get moderated? What's the real deal? The biggest sob story on the dark side of the internet is Dark Side Phil himself. He's over here like, oh, everyone's producing a sob story. What's every begging video? What's every pre-stream where you go, guys, I need my, I need you 12-year-old boys and teenagers and weird autistic man-children to pay my bills, please? That doesn't seem sad. That's fucking depressing. That's more depression levels of sad, dude. Jesus Christ. Phil? And I had words with this person multiple times about it, and they promised me they would not do it again, and then they did it again, and that's it. You know, it's like, you can only go so far <clears throat> until you realize you can't trust someone. And when you can't trust them, that's when you gotta cut the cord. This is why a lot of people are leaving you, Phil, because they can't trust you, because you lie and scam behind the scenes, and you trick these kids out of their money, you idiot. And, again, then they flip out. Oh my god, Phil's this, Phil's that. Alright, fuck this. You know, that's enough of that. So, it sucks that the situation that it came to that, you know, but you, you, sometimes you got to do what's best for the streams, and at this point, you know, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing what's best for everything, and, you know, it sucks that we're down a couple mods, but it is what it is. You know what would be best for the stream? Upgrading your equipment, integrating a green screen, getting better emotes, getting better pre-stream music, cutting your pre-stream to, like, four minutes, maybe, you know, being better at games. But uh, getting rid of some mods and replacing them with some new pay piggies, I don't think that's, that's, 
Sorrow is right, dude. It's just a band-aid. It's just a band-aid. You idiot. You played yourself. This is how the ship sinks faster. And he says, Hyped for the Final Fantasy stream. Twitter detractors are man babies. Just you do you, Phil. You're living the dream, man. I take offense to that. The uh, Twitter detractors, I call them the banter boys because they're all, they're all fun people. You gotta love them all. Uh, they're awesome people. And they're way better than the degenerates in DSP's chat. Just saying. Shout out to the banter boys. Y'all know who you are. Love y'all. Um, as I've said, I love my work. I love it. And it's hilarious. You're right. I say something actually positive on Twitter. And people twist it to be negative. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. You're right. It's just so, so... No, what's fucking ridiculous is you banning a guy for saying happy birthday. Because that's what you did. You did it. We got the logs. We got the receipts. We got you. You got trapped in the lies and the bullshit. Fuck you, Phil. You banned someone for saying happy birthday. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday, I guess happy fucking birthday. And if it's not, well, then watch this video on your birthday. And then it'll be your birthday. Insane now that this is what people have to do to try to make me look bad. Nah, Phil, it's not about that at this point. We are, you already look as shitty as you're going to get. You're going to get worse. But you're already sitting pretty fucking low in the pit, and we're all just on top in lawn chairs, the popcorn and sweet imported Swedish beer laughing at your stupid ass. I never had Swedish beer, it just sounds really fucking fancy, and I think we should just all have some fancy drinks and laugh at Phil. Cause he's funny and pathetic, and that's why I'm that's why I'm around here. I treat this shit like a shitty ass sitcom, and I just sit back and I like go, oh, aha, or I go, wow, the writers are really repeating shit this season. Hopefully the summer bummer will be great. The Summer Bummer season arc is going to be dank as fuck. That, I just don't even care anymore. I just, it's so stupid, I laugh my ass off. You laugh your ass off when you block people and drink and sit sad boy on Kiwi Farms? Yeah, I bet you're laughing your ass off, Phil. Totally laughing at every, this is how you don't play, detractor video, bent on Twitter, Kiwi Farms post. You're just sitting back with your gin, your big bowl bottle of Tangeray and going, ah ha ha! No, you ain't, dude. You crying. You're sad. You're so sad, dude. Are you laughing when you go to Cat and go, Honey, we can't, we can't be, we can't pay for things this month. I had to buy a video game for the stream. And she's like, I can't work harder, honey. I work so hard as it is, dude. All right, honey. You have fun at the gym. Door closed sound. All right, now I can go jack off before my nighttime stream, dudes. So at the end of the day, who's left on the DSP mod team? It is all boys. <clears throat> Dream Yusuke, I have no idea who the fuck that is. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm trying to get better at this detractor thing, but I'm just kind of doing this like low to mid effort shit posting on my end. We also got Kakin, Kakin, <laughs> everyone's. New favorite, because Saru's gone, so Kekin's gonna get the fucking meme treatment. He's already gotten the meme treatment on Tevin's end, but now he's gonna get it from everywhere else because he's fucking Kekin. Maybe we'll do Kekin. There's some lower on Kekin. I think he's like a scat guy. He's a scat man. Don't don't start out slow. Don't start. And we also got Anonymous. Cool. I don't know shit about Anonymous. He's probably a furry, I assume. Some form of degenerate if he's modding for DSP. So what do we learn at the end of this video, boys and girls? Like the last one, fucking nothing, because we know DSP does this. He'll sit there and go, this is the last time I'm going to address something, and then literally the next fucking pre-stream, or during his highly interactive gameplay chill streams, <laughs> he does it again. He, doesn't, he, he can't put shit in the past. He's always got to bring shit up. That's why he does his shitty little retrospectives, because he's got to just trip balls on member berries. Because DSP lives in the past, the old milk and honey days, dude. Back when you can buy, like, thousands of dollars worth of stupid statues and action figures. Like a fucking... It didn't save a fucking penny. God damn it. Oh, shit, it's a DSP last minute fucking edition update news thingy. Which, uh, DSP made a, a couple tweets about D-Day, which, fine, he's an internet personality, so he kind of has a right to just talk about every trendy topic, because people, idiots, want to know his fucking take on it. D-Day is just a weird topic, because he's a Let's Player, and I wouldn't expect him to have an interesting take on it. Just saying. But what really mundane my fucking Garfields was this comment. 
not trying to compare here, but people like you have braved through hard times too. All the shit you've been through, yet you shoulder on. Do not compare Darks to Phil, Dave, Philip Bernil, the guy who was sad about not getting the Wolverine toy, to a fucking service member. You degenerate fuck. Oop, that's not how you pause, damn it. What did we learn from this little mini update? Uh, Phil will talk about anything to get attention on Twitter because he thinks he's still really cool on Twitter since those epic pro Jared tweets, dude. God damn, God damn it. Those, those tweets sent him on a fucking ego trip. And he's still on it, sadly. He's going to be on it for a long time. It's going to ride him through the summer bummer arc, hopefully. It's going to be fun, boys. But yeah, that's it for me. Another video of, of the Dirks to Phil. Bitch slapped into the Chronicle. You can find me on Twitter at BaseDoslo. I do a show on the weekends called Base Buddies with my boy. Here's a weird clip of it out of context. Tracker there. But you're an asshole I have, on Twitter. I have a bit of a... Doesn't that make you want to watch it? No? I don't blame you. All right, you guys be safe. Make good choices.